Hello everybody, uh, I'm here to introduce the month of March to all 12 star signs and I wanted to just uh, take a snapshot of the chart here as you can see and uh, fast forward to the 14th, almost midway uh, into the month for the key aspect. Let me just change this uh, to the natural Aries zodiac. Here we see, if we take the natural zodiac, the new moon taking place in the sign of Pisces, which is the 12th house, with the world madly rushing towards material security, branding, um, 5,000 friends on Facebook. It's all about quantity. It's all about, as far as I can see, having, having more having more than everyone else, turning everything up louder than everything else, right? And somehow we become conditions. It's hard, it's hard not to. We, you know, contextually with our friends, our relatives, they're all madly racing towards the same goals. That's the 11th house when we look at goals. You notice here in the natural zodiac, we talked about this last year, that great conjunction, the grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn there in the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius is the progressive sign. In the sidereal zodiac, which is my preferred zodiac, but I don't like to confuse people, that conjunction actually took place in the debilitation sign of Jupiter. Capricorn is the debilitation area for that planet. And what is Jupiter? Jupiter is the planet of spirituality, the natural significator of how we actually expand and ennoble ourselves in life. When that planet is depressed or drops, we can see what happens in life. We can see that all of those spiritual values are discarded. The, even the spiritual people, um, yeah, it's all lip service. You can see it. I mean, I live here in the Philippines. I've heard, I'm not that I'm a practicing Christian anymore. I heard from my childhood that uh, thou shalt not work on the Sabbath. Now, what are we going to do? You've got you know, half of the population here on the poverty line, a few more now since COVID. What do they do? They don't work on the Sabbath? Of course not. Most of them work on the Sabbath. So, you know. That's what I call paying lip service. There's very, very few people that have courage of their convictions. And that's, of course, because Jupiter, again, I'm going to refer back to the sidereal position here, in the material sign of Capricorn, shows that we tend to discard those values in favor of the material benefits. Now, there's few and far between an individual that will step up and uh, live by their spiritual principles. And I'm not saying you have to follow the principles of any church or dogma. I'm saying that those principles have to be carved out, refined and polished by you to fit who you are as a person. And that's what I love about astrology. Because even though we classify all of the 12 signs into the tribes, and we identify pretty much with all of those different tribes and the values of each of those tribes, I am very much for the individualism of the person, which is really what this Aquarius thing is all about, finding the individual value, finding your core values, your core competency, not just in terms of work, but in terms of what it is you value in life and what it is you want to do, and making that your religious dogma, your own religious dogma that's not sort of looking left, right, above, below to what everyone else is expecting. Of you then if you want to work on the sabbath effort it's your decision it's your standard you don't have to live by the standard of anyone else so i think i've focused quite a bit there on that 11th house jupiter saturn in aquarius conjunction but i jumped to the 14th for a very specific reason along the same theme which is four planets in pisces including the ruler of pisces neptune and a new moon taking place there. That new moon in Pisces showing us 
the sublime heights of what we aspire to as humans, as humanity as a whole, is intimately tied in with the principle of Pisces. The principle of Pisces is sacrifice, the spiritual ideal. What is it that ennobles us, you, as a human being? The new moon is showing us a new value system, a new way of looking at things. The need for an independent reappraisal of that, as shown by the Aquarian ideal. The fact that we're on the, the, the cusp, the precipice of this new age of Aquarius is all about, yes, it's about working for the good of the whole, the group. Aquarius is all about the group. But that can only happen through the other principle of Aquarius, which is individuality, finding your true spiritual meaning and value within yourself, rather than relying on the outdated methodologies and dogmas that, that we've been conditioned to believe. So I think it's an important point. I'm not going to labor it. I think this month uh, you keep that in the back of your mind when I talk to you and I animate the chart for each of the 12 tribes how that new moon is impacting you. Overlay what I've just said here about your core value, your core competency, being determined and discovered by you and overlay it over these different areas of our practical lives in keeping with what makes you feel whole, what makes you feel great and what really at the end of the day makes you happy as a human being. Okay, now let's have a look at the 12 signs. Thanks for joining me. Look forward to telling you what's happening in the month of March 2021.